Why is it that some men have limitless motivation? They stick to their word effortlessly and conquer their goals day in and day out. While most men watch motivational videos, consume self-help books, and binge all the content from the successful gurus like Tony Robbins or Grant Cardone. Yet, they still suffer from uncontrollable procrastination and lack of discipline that crushes their self-confidence. You know, they get super motivated to change their life. They declare they're going to work out, eat healthy, and be productive consistently. And they feel a surge of motivation and hopefulness course through their veins as they envision their new plan or new life. And for the first few days, everything, it goes fantastic. They're working out, they're eating healthy and crushing their life. And because of this, they start to feel like they're in the driver's seat. But then the next day rolls around and when it comes time to work out, their motivation has vanished into thin air. And they tell themselves, you know what? I've been doing a fantastic job this week. I deserve one day off. But then, that one day, it turns into another day and another until they find themselves helplessly falling back into their old patterns and ruts of procrastination, self-doubt, and not making any progress in their life, further cementing them within an inescapable hole as they rot their life away in pity and loneliness. They start to wonder, what's wrong with me? Why can I not do the things that will improve my life, while others, they can do it easily. It's almost like they have a mental barrier that's preventing them from taking action. And if any of this story resonates with you, then I'm willing to bet that you drag your feet all day at school, taking meaningless classes, or at your low paying, soul crushing job where you feel undervalued and underappreciated only for you to scroll on social media and see your friends who kind of breeze their way through school and life without a care in the world. Yet somehow they are dominating life, which makes you question how you got trapped in this black hole of despair in the first place. But the reality is that you're in this place simply because you haven't acquired the mind of a conqueror yet. You see, everything you want from your life stems from how your brain is programmed. But most people, they don't know this, which is why most people never attain the life that they want. But let me explain. So you have two parts of your brain. You have the left or conscious mind, and then you have the right or subconscious mind. Now, 90 to 95% of the decisions that you make in your entire day, they're made with your subconscious mind. And to exemplify this, have you ever been driving home before and then for like five or 10 minutes you zone out and then all of a sudden you just pull up at your destination already? If so, you're probably like, well, how the heck did I get here? I wasn't consciously driving. And you're right. You weren't consciously driving, but your subconscious mind took over. Now you might be wondering, well, okay, how did my subconscious mind get me to take action or take over? Through your habits. Now, when you tell yourself that you're gonna change your actions and behaviors, you're using your conscious mind. But you've already made it a habit of not doing what you told yourself you do. So then you get into something that I call the brain battle. You have your conscious mind over here saying, let's make change, let's improve our lives and improve ourselves so that we become proud of who we see in the mirror. And then you have your subconscious mind over here saying, nope, let's not make change. And your subconscious mind, it sees this habit as a survival mechanism. Now, which one do you think wins that battle? Yeah, as you already discovered, it's your subconscious mind or the habits it has created, which is why you always fall back into your old patterns and ruts. And the worst part is the motivational industry. They keep feeding us lies. They're telling us that all it takes to stick to our word is more willpower and motivation. But as you already discovered, 
No amount of willpower or motivation will overcome how your brain is programmed. The scariest part is, the longer you wait to acquire the mind of a conqueror, the harder it will be. So you might be wondering, well, how do I escape this vicious trap, this vicious cycle? And the only way is by getting your subconscious mind to work with your conscious mind. Now we call this acquiring the mind of a conqueror. And without it, your life is gonna stay exactly how it is right now. Except that deep feeling in your gut that's telling you that you're on the wrong path in life, it's gonna keep on growing like a tumor. Now, the good news is that acquiring the mind of a conqueror is simple. In fact, it may be easier than you think. And no, it's not something that you were just born with or born without. It's not something that you just have or don't have. It's learnable. You see, every single human being in this entire planet is capable of it because we're just tapping into how you are hardwired as a human. And that also means the results, they're guaranteed, assuming that you are committed to acquiring the mind of a conqueror. So right now, you have two choices. You can ignore this video, keep relying on willpower and motivation to change your life, and keep getting the same results, or you can acquire the mind of a conqueror experience a barrage of motivation and defeat procrastination. But before you decide which route you're going to take, let me ask you a question. How are you gonna feel in one, two, or three years from now if you don't change anything? Is that decision to stay stagnant in life helping you live a better or worse life? With that being said, if you chose to acquire the mind of a conqueror, then I invite you to join us for our seven day mind of a conqueror challenge. Hit the link around this video to learn more.